Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my shop. You may remember about two weeks ago, maybe three, somewhere around in there. It may have been less than that, I don't know. I've been doing a lot here lately and my days are running together. <laughs> um, I made pin blanks for Nick and Jimmy. Oh, I made one that had copper in it and I was curious as to how that was gonna turn out. So today, I wanted to turn this and make a pin. Okay, that didn't last long. <laughs> um, I was afraid that was going to happen. <clears throat> I mean, I could probably put it back together and make make it work, but I'm not sure that I want to. Well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> so, this is what became of it. Um, completely broke apart, this one. And honestly, I could have probably put this one back together um, and glued it back up with the end on it and tried it. And it probably would have turned out uh, if I'd have just took my time with it and been I patient. I took it really slow on this one, um, and it worked. I went all the way through this one, no problem, except it did catch and it did push out the copper. So, um, lesson learned. If I try that again, I'll do it a little differently. But, uh, nevertheless, I'm going to turn this one tonight. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, I'm at the finishing step on this pin. I've already sanded it down. It's time to put the CA on and then give it a sanding after the CA. But I wanted to show you guys what I use um, and the process that I use to, to actually get the pin uh, nice and shiny with the CA, with the CA finish. Because the CA finish is kind of hard. It took me a little while to actually get it. Um, <laughs> But I mean, it's, I guess that's a common thing. Um, I wouldn't wait long enough for certain things to dry um, and applying it incorrectly, sometimes with too much speed. It took a while to get it corrected. So I wanna show you a few things that help me out and maybe it'll help you out. All right, first, I use 
I have several different types of CA, but the two that I use for this finish is it's a medium and a, a thin. So I have a medium and a thin that I use for these. I'll put maybe two or three coats of the medium on there. When that dries, I'll put this on there. And in between coats, I'll spray it with um, some activator. Uh, this bottle is actually terrible as far as spray goes. So I actually open the bottle and dab it on a piece of this foam. I went ahead and picked this up. Much better. Craft foam. And that's what I use to apply my CA. On one side, I'll rub it with the for the CA. And the other side, I'll put the activator on to speed the process up. So, all right. Well, let's get started on that. All right, first things first, let's get this tailstock off of here. There we go. Um, also, I'll show you this while I'm at it. I made my own um, mandrel saber, and basically, I found that the, um, well, get back on there. The, what is it called? The live center from um, Rockler. I have the live center from Rockler, and it, get back in there, there we go, and it actually detaches, the actual point detaches, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, detaches from the bearing that, and the uh, taper that goes into the tailstock. I found that out by accident one day, and I don't know if they all do that or if it's just mine in particular, but you can see how it goes right back on with no problem, comes right off. Well, one day it, it came off on accident and I was like, well, actually, that's pretty cool because you can see all the way through it. So I decided to make, I turned this to fit the bearing and then I turned this to fit the uh, mandrel. So now that, you know, it's, it, it works pretty, pretty good. Uh, you've seen it in action. So uh, if you guys have this, uh, maybe that could help you out. You could try to actually see if this comes off and make one of these. Anyways, enough of that. Um, so now that we've got it to this point, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back on so I can do the, the finish process. Um, ba what I do first is I put denatured alcohol on here to get rid of all the, um, all the salt, the dust from the sanding because that'll make your finish ugly <laughs> if you don't get all that off of there. So I'll take a little bit of denatured alcohol, and it's important at this step too because this is where I was, I was messing up a lot as I was not letting the denatured alcohol dry all the way off of the pin before I started um, putting the CA on. So I'll hit that probably twice with it just to get it good and wet so it, I know it's all off of there. And it doesn't take that long for it to dry, it's just, I guess I was impatient, I don't know. So, that is what that is. But uh, basically, yeah, let it spin until you feel like it's, it's good and dry. So yeah, I think, you know, we're pretty good. We'll go ahead and put our first coat on. And I'll show you how I do that. Go ahead and get my bottle of activator ready. And my bottle of CA, which is the medium. And basically my first time through, what I like to do is put it straight on the pin and run with it. Uh, and then after that, I'll just get, keep the, the foam wet with the CA. And I really don't care about my bushings. I know they make um, non-stick bushings, but uh, <laughs> oh well. These are cheap enough to to re uh, to rebuy. Not only that, if they do get stuff on them, all you do is turn it off. But yeah, so I'll put the activator on, kind of like this, just to dab it on. get it wet if if you make sure this is nice and wet it, it won't mess up that first coat it won't cause it to 
to um, streak and everything on you as long as that's wet. So, and also, <coughs> excuse me, give it a feel, and it's it's dry already. There's a spot right here, so I need to go kind of thick. Let me turn it off. Yeah, there's a spot right here. I need to go kind of thick with it. But also, your CA will will get will build up on your um, on your foam. So I suggest going out to get this because this is this is a lifesaver. Um, but it'll build up on there, and it'll cause a a spot where it, it will not blemish any of your finish. And you, if you do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's hard to describe, but it it's awesome, <laughs> basically. So I'll get a thick enough coat of this, thick enough to where it'll basically burn my eyes. See, basically all you're trying to do is get a nice thick coat of CA on the pen and once you've established that and see that's why I like using that activator because it's already nice and dry if my bottle sprayed this it would make life a lot easier but this bottle does not spray for some reason it's like pulling teeth trying to get it to spray and when it does it like squirts it jet out so all right, let's put one more coat of this medium on here. Oh, we got a nice thick layer. And the last one, I usually like to make real thick. That way, I can smooth back over it, and any of those imperfections that were caused on the first two coats disappear underneath that thick coat. Let me see if I can spray it this time. Uh, see what I mean? It's terrible, but I got activator all over it, so that's good. Now the activator activator will see how that did right there. I'm gonna have to go over it one more time. I'm gonna tell them, Rockler, this bottle sucks. The product's great. But maybe that's my fault for buying this stupid little squirt bottle. I should have bought a, um, an aerosol. Um, I see something here I don't like, so I'm going to run over it one more time on the end of this one and the end of this one. There's two spots that I really don't like, so... There we go. Now... See what happens. Please squirt correctly. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's a pathetic squirt. Pathetic. Oh my lord, you see that? Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Actually, let's go over with the thin now. And if you get any, uh, what is it called? Um, I guess we'll call it glazing or hazing, excuse me. Um, any hazing on your pen from the CA glue, you can fix that in this process. So basically, you're looking for that the whole time. If you see any spots, that are um, getting white on them. You can fix that now. There's a build up right here. Get rid of some of that. See if I can't squirt this on here. So now that we've got a nice thick coat on here, um, you can see it. There's some lines in here. Uh, that's this is where the sanding comes in handy. <laughs> it gets rid of all that. Let me get all this off this. Put a piece of 
of paper towel down. Because I'm about to get some water. <laughs> And since this is so bumpy at this point, um, which is bumpier than usual, I'm going to start with a 500. That way it'll take it down a little bit faster. Key here is to keep this wet. Um, if you don't, you're going to get that white coloration I was telling the hazing you're gonna get that in your finish at this point so right now what we're trying to do is get the pin smooth get those uh, those ridges that we created from doing the um, CA finish un uneven we're trying to get that off right now and um, that don't take too long with this 500 uh, it's basically gone except for this one little spot already Yeah, so it's going now. Let me throw another paper towel down because this is gonna get nasty. Ooh, stop! I want to get rust up my bed. So there we go. So yeah, basically it's gone on this side, and you don't want to sand too far to take off the finish. There it is, perfect. All right, let's move to this side now. Squirt some water on it. Alright, so I'm going to go up through all the grits, um, all the way up to 1200 this way, and then I'll do a buff with a, I think it's a 3000, is what I'll buff it with, and then a little, um, little bit of foam at the very, very end, just for the final finish. Here it is before we put the um, wax on it. And I just use, when I do a CA finish, I'll actually do, instead of a paste or a um, wood polish or anything, I'll use a plastic polish. Um, and the particular stuff I have is um, for head, like headlight polishing. It works extremely well on this stuff. It lasts a very long time. Basically, it's just a plastic polish. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. There it is after the wax was put on, or the polish, and you can see how much it shines now. Very, very shiny. That, that plastic polish makes a world of difference in the end. It's taken a long time for me to learn how to get this type finish, <clears throat> and I hope that what I've showed you wasn't too rushed or um, wasn't informative enough look really closely on the brown portion you can see right there in the grains of the walnut where the actual redwood dust is still inside um, I thought I did a decent job of getting <clears throat> the denatured alcohol getting it out but it didn't but I'm glad it didn't because I like that effect. That's a really nice <clears throat> effect of having that uh, inside of that grain, if you can see it. And it's like that all the way, I believe. Yeah, no, there's a few places. All right, so let's get this pin put together. Okay, keep here. I'm going to attempt to do this with the camera between me and it, so bear with me. There's that. Thank you. Well, 
can put the clip on. Okay, just slide it up. Slide it for now, and then we'll tighten it down when we find out where we want it. This would be nice if I put it in the shop with it. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I like to get it just, just enough, but not completely tight, to where it'll actually spin around um, before I... Or that's what I like to do first, and then whenever I put the thing together and see what side I like for the top and so on and so forth, I'll do that afterwards. Um, let's slide this in. Get this started. I got these pins at the Atlanta Woodworking Show when I went, and um, they're okay. The kits are okay, but I'm not a huge fan of them, especially this mechanism. The transmission in it is, it just feels cheap. Like, it's got this plastic, instead of the PSI that I usually get, um, Penn State ones, they are like a brass right here where the plastic is I think I think it's brass I'm not sure what it is it's something along those lines but this this one usually anytime you go to put it in the tube it'll um, you'll see what it does it actually like shreds the plastic as it slides in This turned out great and I hope that the video didn't skip over anything that was important. Um, I tried to put everything in there that I could to help out with the finish because that's mainly what this was about um, is the actual finish. In my opinion that's the hardest part is the, the finish to the pin. It took me a while to learn how to get a good CA finish like this and those few things that I told you throughout the video are the things that really um, took me to the next level as far as the finish on it. Just small things, small little things that I overlooked and um, uh, what is his name? I can't remember his name, but he pretty much exclusively turns pins. I think it's RJB Wood Turner or whatever his name is. I I'll put it in the description. I was watching his video and he goes into fine detail on how to finish and there's a few things that I've seen in his videos that actually helped me perfect my um, finish, which is not perfect by no means, but it's, it's acceptable. It's a sellable pin now um, with the, the way that I finished it. Before, I wasn't happy with the finish and I, there's no way I would actually sell one. Um, before I learned how to do this CA finish, um, I used to do a spray lacquer finish, and that's okay for certain things, but a pin, no, because it's in your hand every day, and there's a lot of oils and things like that from your on your hand, but this CA lasts a really long time, and it's basically just a hard shell over it, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it 
taught you something, please subscribe to see more. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one.